Hello, it's a very long time since I've done a video on this channel, but I've got something which I think might be of interest. I'm down at the uh, Cotswold Canals Trust annual raft race where I've been broadcasting live on YouTube and I've made quite a complicated setup of it all, so I thought I'd do a video about that. First things first, I bought myself a gazebo because although the weather was um, reasonable, it, uh, you know, you don't want rain coming in all over your camera equipment. The heart of the system is over here. Two um, presenter chairs, which are just camping chairs, and then gear over here. The MacBook Air, that's a MacBook Air M1 through which I'm running OBS to actually stream to the internet. Next to that is an AV Matrix HVS 0402U. That's a video switcher, and I'm using all four of the inputs on that. The preview output from that comes to this telly, so I can see what all the inputs are doing, and then switch between them. Now, in terms of cameras, I've got one on the desk here, which is overlooking the canal, and as I sit here and host, I can actually turn that camera to give a slightly different view of the rafts coming by in the raft race. Then over here, I've got um, the camera I'm currently filming this video on, but imagine it on top of that tripod, looking this way. And that, with a little bit of zoom, is my host camera. And for audio on that, I've got the Rode Wireless Go 2. So me and my co-host wear the wireless transmitters and the receiver is on the camera here. Now, uh, up there is another camera. These are just Sony Handycams, AX53, uh, AX... What was the predecessor of the 53? The one before that. And into this one, this is being used for shots of the canal, but also guest interviews. And I wanted the guest interview to be on a proper microphone, so I've got the Rode Blimp there with a... I think it's an NTG4 Plus microphone. And of course, that's a proper balanced XLR microphone going into a consumer camcorder. So I've got the iRig, um, I forget exactly which model number it is, but it's the iRig device that converts an XLR input into a three and a half millimeter jack input. And that works really well. So that gives me quality audio for interviews. And that's on a, a tripod there, of course. Uh, what else have we got over here? We've got a remote camera setup. I've got my Sony NX80. And on top of it is an Axoon, I forget what they call the model, but it's an Axoon um, HDMI transmitter unit. So the output of the camera goes through that HDMI cable into the transmitter. I've also got a reporter mic on that with a cable, so reporter and presenter can wander off completely wirelessly on that. And I've rigged the receiver up onto what is actually a light stand, but it's a good big stable light stand and I put it up a little bit higher once I've actually switched it on and that receives and then you've got HDMI out from that down into the mixer as input number four. So three fixed cameras and one wireless camera gives me my four inputs. In terms of actually streaming, I've got a Zyxel router, 4G router with an EE SIM in it, data SIM, uh, and that's connected by Wi-Fi to the laptop streaming on OBS and then that too has an external aerial, which is this white thing, which gets up nice and high on the light stand to give me the best signal possible. It was getting about seven or eight megabits up, which isn't the best I've ever seen, but it's not bad. I suspect that, because there was quite an audience earlier, probably a lot of mobile phones around here, so a lot of congestion. Now, in terms of talkback to the remote roving reporter, the Axoon system doesn't actually give you any audio channel. So what I did was, I took this pair of headphones and plugged them into, um, not that camera, that camera, the one that's facing the hosts. So the headphones are hearing the host audio from the um, wireless Go. And then I clamped my mobile phone in here with a phone call to the roving reporter who was wearing earbuds. So. When we were speaking as hosts, it was coming through the headphone, into the phone, phone call over to the roving reporter who heard it in his earbuds and could then reply, and of course I would hear him via the um, remote camera. And the whole lot is being powered by partly by camera batteries, but also a lot of mains units running off this little jackery that someone's brought for me to use. Um, it's not a freebie, uh, someone's already got that and brought it with them. And then a certain amount of mains power there. 
Uh, so that is my streaming setup. The only other thing I've got is a little power bank there, which is just keeping this camera fully charged. For monitoring, I did have the headphones plugged in to the MacBook, and then they come out to you. I've got an earpiece here from my old days in telly, and then the co-host has a set of headphones. That's just running through a very basic 3.5 millimeter splitter down on the ground there. And that's the lot. And all things considered, it worked fairly well. However, there was a problem at the start of the broadcast when the remote camera wasn't uh, transmitting properly. It turned out that as I'd installed it, I'd nudged the dial onto a different receiving channel from the transmitting channel. A easy mistake to make, but I should have checked that to start with. Once those two were actually coordinated, we got signal. And then the other issue was really that um, I couldn't hear the audio. I plugged headphones into the um, MacBook, but the volume was so quiet I couldn't really hear what I was saying and certainly not what the remote reporter was saying. So that was all a bit chaotic. There's a much louder headphone output on the AV Matrix mixer, so I'm going to use that for my next broadcast. But that is pretty much that.